of a small island nation in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. We have traveled all across the U.S. mainland. At the start of our broadcast for our, on our end, where did we start off? We were out in Arizona. Then we traveled over to Milwaukee, you know, got some nice little Wisconsin cheese. Accidentally showed up just a little bit late to Ohio. And now we're going to be finishing the regular season down in nice Southern Utah to face off against Southern Utah University. I am Joao Endenrescher. I'm joined by Clark Lit.gif. Clark, it's the end of the regular season of the EGF. How are we feeling? I think the Rainbow Warriors have uh, a lot to feel pretty good ab about. I'm looking at this roster right now, and we are going to see a substitution. Unfortunately, Matt Thieler could not make it, and we have Jet filling in, which means that we should be seeing a reduction in Sigma gameplay and tech pauses as we go into this match against Southern Utah. And now, go ahead and fill us in just a little bit on Jet, because for the viewers at home who may not know, Clark is actually our coach for our JV team here at the University of Hawaii. So what can you tell us a little bit about this player who's being called up from the JV roster? Yeah, so Jet, I mean, a very talented player in his own right, but he is going to have some big shoes to fill. One of the things that I am a little bit concerned about uh, is a, a bit of a hero pool discrepancy. Um, Jet, uh, I, or at least the, the Rainbow Warriors varsity team, has been running a lot of the Sigma compositions, uh, and the team has really been adjusting, playing around Sigma, whether they're playing poke comps or, of course, the signature Junkrat pick from Say. Uh, I'm a bit curious to see how they're going to adjust to Jet's gameplay. Jet, a very aggressive, uh, very aggressive tank and uh, shot caller for the JV squad, um, but also. Um, the, the heroes that Jet plays, he likes to play a lot of Reinhardt, likes to play a lot of Arisa for the team. Uh, occasionally whips out the, the Winston, the Ramatra, so a little bit more of a diverse hero pool. Um, but we, of course, are probably going to be seeing a, a little bit less of the Sigma and the Wrecking Ball that we're used to seeing from Matt Dealer. I'm curious to see how the rest of the Varsity squad is going to be adjusting to that, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see as we go into the first map, which is Li Jang Tower. And, it's uh... It's really not as easy as people think to just completely sub out tank players like that. And we've seen this entire season that Matt Dealer has been a very crucial player for the Rainbow Warriors. And not to say that Jet doesn't have the skill, doesn't have what it takes in order to keep up with the rest of the squad. But I'm, I'm a little interested to see if potentially that's going to maybe throw off the balance or throw off the groove of the Rainbow Warriors a little bit. This is just a little important, uh, um, important game. It's not... We are at the end of the season. Rainbow Warriors do have a good record on their end, but also keep in mind, keep in mind, they're coming off of a loss of la from last week of uh, facing off against the Ohio-based University. So, I'm just a little interested to see what exactly is going to happen. Of course, uh, the Rainbow Warriors are going to want to be finishing their season strong, but uh, what I notice most about Jet uh, as as his coach and when I watch him play is that he can be a little bit of a, of a slow startup, but as he gets warmed up, he, he really starts uh, feeling himself and he, he gets into his groove, so he's a player that's going to get stronger as the series continues. Uh, which can certainly be a benefit if this ends up being a long series. So this first map is is going to be very telling. If the Rainbow Warriors can really uh, hit the ground running uh, as they um, go into the first map, if Jet's uh, really controlling the space uh, well and calling shots well, and if they're confirming on, on Jet's kills, uh, then I, I think it's going to bode well for the remainder of the set for the Rainbow Warriors. But of course, we're just going to have to see I'm sure these players have been warming up in their lobbies uh, while they wait on um, while they wait on the lobby to get set up. Um, we still have a little bit of time, so we can sort of talk compositions. Um, um, yes. I... yes, compositions are the name of the game. Especially, I was going to mention today we saw the launch of the Overwatch League uh, Pro Am, and we've been seeing a bunch of different compositions coming out of the woodworks. A lot of people were thinking that it's going to be exactly the same, like. Winston, Reaper, Sojourn, Kiriko, Lucio comp that we saw in the Overwatch League 20, 2022 Grand Finals, but it's been all over the place today. We've seen Ramatra, thank God. We've seen Hanzo, we've seen May, we've seen Baptiste everywhere. Do you think that we're gonna be seeing a little bit of the funny compositions here or, or sticking, or are we gonna stick straight to what is meta at the highest level? 
you know, uh, I think it is going to depend a lot on uh, whether the, the varsity team is going to flex to to Jet's hero pool or if they're going to just have Jet filling the role that uh, Matthew will usually be playing. Um, but I, I think something that the, the JV team has uh, really been working on is uh, the, the Reinhardt-based rush compositions. And so I think that's something that we can, I mean, look forward to. It's it's really exciting uh, to, to watch. Um, so if we do see... Um, Jet picking is his more comfort picks, which I, uh, if I had to bet, I would say they're going to lean more towards allowing Jet to uh, pick comfort picks, and then uh, everyone on varsity. They're typically pretty flexible, um, even though we're used to seeing them on their um, on their signature heroes, be it uh, the Ash, the Junkrat, the the Sigma. They are a very flexible squad, and so I think they're going to be able to adapt to what Jet is feeling. Uh, make sure that Jet is on a comfortable pick because, uh, again, I think a lot of their game plan is is going to be um, working around um, wor working around incorporating Jet because the, this is something that they've known for for about a week, so they've had perhaps some scrim time to to get used to new strategies, and so I, I think they might try to go for a Reinhardt rush comp. Uh, the typical composition that we were seeing, um, at least in some leaked scrims and. Uh, Perhaps the pro am. I, 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 I didn't watch all of it. I I think um, there was a lot of like Reinhardt. There was some May. I actually saw even some Bastion getting whipped out. But of course, um, uh, Banana Lumpia and River God. They have a really strong Lucio Baptiste combo, uh, and I, I think that's gonna that's gonna bode well if they decide to uh, run with these Reinhardt compositions. And another thing that we didn't mention today either is. We're going to be seeing a return of Akamai into the starting roster too. Wombology is not going to be playing today. So what do you think that's going to bring to the table too? Because we're seeing two like two players who obviously Akamai has been out of the roster for about, uh, about a couple weeks now. Jet's obviously making the call up. What do you think Akamai is going to bring to the table that Wombology either maybe does a little bit differently or maybe, maybe the team would prefer to stick to some of the similar things that he does? Yeah, and I, um, the... The convenient thing of, about running Wombology is that between Wombology and Akamai, there's actually a lot of overlap in their hero pool, and so they play a lot of the same characters, um, maybe with a couple of exceptions, um, but generally they, they play the, the same roles in the team. Uh, where they do differ a lot is that, uh, like I was mentioning a few weeks ago, Wombology can be a really a hot or cold player. If, he, if he's um, feeling himself, he has a lot of momentum, he can really ride that and uh, bring a lot of value to the team um whereas uh, akamai is uh, much more much more all-around consistency he, he gets some um, he, he kind of plays not on the back foot but i, I guess uh, a little bit more re reserved and solid um whereas uh wombology if, if he's feeling himself he's really feeling himself but uh if he if if he isn't then he, he's not going to be getting as much value on his comfort picks and so i think just having that solid foundation um, of of Akamai, who's a, a much more consistent player. Um, I think I, I think that's gonna be a, a good thing to have when you're incorporating a new, um, not a new player, but a, a substitute into your roster, especially when it's a role so pivotal to your game plan as your tank player. So I, I think that's going to be good to have Akamai on the team. As far as compositions, I think Akamai generally a pretty pretty flexible char um, character pool in uh, Akamai's back pocket. So I think if we are going to see um, like a like a Reinhardt composition, we're probably going to see him on the Bastion, maybe uh, possibly the Reaper or the Cassidy. Also good characters in the Rush composition meta currently. Um, they they may also decide to go for uh, their tried and true poke composition. I, I know that Jet a little bit more confident on the Ramatra, although uh, Jet does have a have a good Sigma. And if they decide to go with a, a poke composition, Jet will be fine there as well. Um, but I, I it's it, it's going to depend on what we see. Um, maybe not on this first map. Uh, this map, the uh, Li Jang can be a little bit cut and dry as far as what composition you see i mean on control center of course we're gonna see say's junk rat i i would absolutely not doubt that we're we're gonna see him rolling out on, really on that control center. Rat too. and speaking of the first map 
You do. We are just finishing up a little bit of the interviews for the last previous game. So I think we're just going to throw it to a super quick break. We're going to go ahead and come back. And once we come back, we're going to make sure that it goes straight into the action. We'll see you guys in just a moment. a very long time to be playing Winston. And, uh, yeah, it looks like this is going to resemble something similar to what uh, what uh, this varsity team would have been playing at, at the end of Overwatch 1. Uh, they would refer to it as Zombie Comp, where you would basically just run your team down uh, and rush uh, the backline targets, but with uh, with Mora and Lucio, I mean, it's going to be really hard to pin down this backline on the Warrior side. 
Okay, we are gonna see the action starting to take off. Let's see how our newest, newest player of the varsity is gonna see. Dolphin is gonna be the one here on the bottom, Dolphin on the jet on the back side. Riverdog is gonna be taking over the halfway down to the board. Take out there. A lot of pressure is gonna be applied by Jet on the back line of University of Southern California. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dolphin is gonna be taking over the bottom of the board. Dol
and then turn the fight around uh, while uh, while Southern Utah was yes, still kind of on the mind. back foot. They were, they were regaining their composure, um, but River God just gave them no opportunity to do so. And uh, yeah, just a, a Remember, great uh, if you want me to heal you, right there. Stand very and, um, still. But looks also, like, as I predicted, we are going to be seeing the Reinhardt. And uh, this is a very, very typical setup that we have on Night Market. We're going to see the teleporter probably into the upper window. Utah isn't going to match them, so they can be completely blindsided by this if they're not careful. Um, that teleporter strat, uh, I apologize, it looks like they were just through the doing it, but the, the rollout, they're not going to offer that. They on the Winston instead, and so they're, they're trusting the other Winston. So far, it's paying off. Like they're going to slip this one back to Southern Utah. 
is going to be about 90 seconds left on the point as the Rainbow Warriors are going to try to do their best in order to see Maze. We're seeing Banana Lufia pop the sound barrier to try and just get the contest. Saves on the pop of his own tire as River God is there with the total lesson. And it is going to be a lot of ultimates on the field. A very expensive fight is saved there to take down the press. River God is there to take down Dolphin. The turret from Asian Boy is there to take down Octopi, but Jet is also there to take down Asian Boy as well. It was a valiant effort made by South Utah University as 90 seconds are going to be applied and Manoa is taking the cap. There might be room for one more contest. Akamai is going to be there on the soldier to make sure that doesn't happen. Reinhardt is near the end, but there is no ultimate on, on this side of him. The only ultimate they're going to have online is going to be the wall from the same, but it does not matter. Akamai, Sei, and Jet are there to clean up their counterparts as it's just a Reaper guy on the point in order to try and save the day. That piece of land not going to be effective enough. Round one on Lee Jank Tower goes to the Rainbow Warrior. And that is a gut punch if you are at Southern Utah University. They were not prepared at all for that staggered fight. And Banana Olympia clutch in just the last few percentage was able to contest with the solo beat on itself just to keep the clock running and so that they could get That's back. One. And they had five ultimates. I was wondering why they didn't pop in the fight before, but uh, I guess the right Warriors right right really want to give us a show tonight. It was a really good showcase from Akamai as we see in the play of the game there also, making him making his presence known as he's been out out just the training in the hyperbolic time chamber, training in the mountains of Nepal, training in the sewage in the sewage canals of New York City underneath the island of Oahu, just doing as much as he can to try and make sure that he is still a presence on this roster. And so far what we've seen, we've seen Jet he keep, keep it up pretty well. Dolphin has Dolphin has been no slouch, that's for sure. But Jet, making making it seem very clear that it doesn't seem to be a difference between him and Matthew. Yeah, and I, I mean, uh, Winston is definitely a one one of a few comfort picks for Jet, and I think uh, they're not going to have a problem incorporating a Winston into their composition. Uh, I um, much at all because, uh, of course, a Winston comp something that. Uh, the Rainbow Warriors ran a lot towards the end of Overwatch 1, and so it's definitely something that they're going to be very comfortable with. Uh, you know, we can see the resemblance in compositions uh, with the Moira and Lucio comp that they're running. Sometimes can get a little bit ragged on for being kind of a, a lazy composition, but uh, of course it, it still requires a lot of good team play on the side of the Rainbow Warriors to make it work. So, uh, Southern Utah University, uh, what what kind of adaptations uh, are you um, do you, do you think they're going to need to uh, be able to deliver here on Par Iso? I think the name of the game on Par Iso is going to definitely be to see if Say is going to stick on the Junkrat, or if he's just going to potentially take something a little bit more meta. Because that was a really that was a really big problem last week is that there was just a lot of potential maybe not wanting to swap off the Lucio that we potentially would like to see from the Rainbow Warriors but also I'm gonna be making I'm gonna be looking at Asian Boy from South Southern Utah University because he was all over their back line despite the loss on round one so I'm interested to see if potentially say he's gonna go for the Tracer duel or if he's gonna stick to the pocket jump threat yeah Relidox and Asian Boy were getting a lot of uh good pickoffs on uh, some people who are kind of straying a little bit too far from their tank and uh, those those picks are, are going to matter a lot it's going to add up and you, you don't want to be in a situation where you're only losing uh, one or two players and then you keep trying to engage in the fight um, it, it's just going to kill off more time on your clock and the longer you dilly dally in those in between fights uh, the more difficult it is going to be to I guess get your composure um, posture up and have uh, have a strong stance on these um, really difficult to crack points, especially on Paris. So we see it on uh, first. We see it in the streets phase with the the rooftops. It can be really difficult to, to crack those points, and uh, you, you really want to be postured up uh, before the start of the fight. You don't want to be staggering in and uh, and and losing anyone towards the end. So uh, that that could be. Um, a bonus for going to Paris for Relidox and Asian Boys. So we're just going to have to see what they bring uh, composition wise to this, next, uh, to this next map. As we all are making our way onto the beautiful beaches of Paris, so nice trip down, in, down into good old Brazil. 
Looks like we, it, at least so far we can see on the, on the screen so far, it looks like Jet is going to be sticking onto that D.Va, and it looks like Akamai and Zay are actually going to be running the, the Ash Genji. River God is going to be sticking yeah, onto Ana, and Banana Lumpia is going to be on Brigitte. Conversely, on for Southern Utah, we're seeing a Tracer pick up Asian Boy, and it looks like the Mercy Kiriko with a with a Mamatra. Not something you typically see in a competitive setting unless you are playing Diamond Ranked or Platinum Rank and Ranked Cops, but I'm interested to see what we're gonna what it's gonna entail for us. I did did I miss something in like the, the Overwatch League matches today? What is what is this nanoblade setup that they're going for? I I did not realize this was something that you could go for, but uh, let's see. Hey, the don't, don't diss the Mercy Kuriko support line either. It has carried me through several games where they're playing like <laughs> Zen Lucio. As we're going to see, Relevant supplying a lot of pressure onto Jet in the background there. It looks like they're just going to be just doing a little bit of dance on the high ground as the Dolphin from Macho is going to be there. But it looks like they did deflect his Dragon Vortex, and the Inz is going to need to be doing a bit of punching. Oh, my is just going to be doing a little bit of shooting in the in this room. Taking down both Melodox and Asian Boy in the background. As we are seeing a swap to the Sombra, as a lot more pressure is just going to be applied from Akamai. I think the Sombra pick might be to try and, and get rid of Jet's defense matrix. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the, the idea is. It, it could possibly be the ult combo. Uh, typically what, what I've been seeing in, in a lot of team comps is running the the Ana with Ramatra as you see Akamai uh, getting vested in the Ash Bowl. And Sometimes all you need is just one dig as Dolphin is going to be there to apply a lot of pressure onto the hack Jet with the Diva Mech putting up his shield in order to try to do a little bit more as he sends up Raptor's Vortex into the Defense Matrix. A lot of pressure is also just going to be applied from the Diva there. The hack is going to be really as well. Shut down their ability just a little bit as the are seeing the EMP activated on the Banana Lucia and Jet as a Nano Say is going to be dancing around in the background trying to swing a pool noodle into a, into a butt freaking army out there. It doesn't look like it is going to be a bit a whole lot of elimination on the field. It is going to be a nice jump of ultimate from both sides as Asia Boy and Dolphin are going to be there to take down Stay and Jet. Banana Luffy is taken down, taken down by Bellinox as well as the Bob is used by Bellinox. It's going to be able to see a reveal as Akamai and Rivergard are going to be sent into, into the depths of Haragiso. And it looks like the Southern Utah University is going to capture the point. Nice. I find it interesting that they're back onto the Mercy composition. Uh, Mercy Kiriko, I mean, it, it can work absolutely, and, uh, you know, um, the Kitsune Rush is uh, going to be very important, but they have the Kitsune Rush, and they also have uh, the Ramatra Ultimate, and those are two really uh, big fight-winning ults, and so you have the... Uh, you have Valkyrie also for just pushing the tempo here. Uh, you really want to make sure that you don't use both of those at once unless you absolutely have to. I mean, both of those uh, ultimates can be so fight winning, and we've been seeing Asian Boy just getting so much uh, mileage out of hacking the D.Va. Uh, typically, you see D.Va is doing a lot of spy checking and uh, making it difficult for Zombras to do anything, and the Consumer Rush is going to destroy the next fight as we go into the three phase. On to Relidox, Say is going to get one, make it a double. And it gets taken down by Boy just before they're straight off by Hawking. Nice trades are made on to the point that Dolphin is going to be there to try to secure it and try to take down Akamai, but Akamai is going to be there to take down Medic as well. Just going to be setting him down into the into the nice rivers of Brazil, making sure he really is going to Brazil. And it is looking like Southern Utah University is going to have to pull in their, pull in their strength just a little bit. They are going to be seeing four ultimates online for University of Hawaii, only two online for on, only two online for South Uni Utah University, and they are also going to be taking down the, som the Somber Translocator. The Mantra ult, uh, it, it's going to have to be big here, and you can just command so much space, but uh, you don't really have as safe a focus healing as you would if you had an Ana or a Baptiste on your team. Uh, the Mercy maybe can get a lot of focus healing, but uh, it can improve. It can be easy for them to try and focus her down with the Diva and Genji, but Dolphin. Speaking, speaking, of the, speaking of the Genji, Say is going to get that nano boost taken down from Press and Asian Boy as Jet's mech is going to be trying to be taken down, but the medic is not going to have enough damage to finish that job. 
Faye's also gonna be there to take down Dolphin Medic in the background as Jet takes down Relodux as well, sending the Rainbow Warriors back onto the cart once to try and secure just a little bit more. Looking like no ultimate have been used just yet on the side of South Utah University. They are gonna be doing a little bit of building up as a spy check Somber is going to be revealed. Angel Boy has gotta get out of there. He is grouped off the map by Banana Luffy as so he is gonna stall their push just a little bit longer. Yeah, and uh, Angel Boy just came up to an EMP as well, so. We're, we're gonna have to wait to try to use those uh, fight winning ultimates. Uh, of course, they could try to go in with the Ramatra ult now, but uh, if you're going in down a DPS, it's not gonna bode well. Three check marks on the side of Southern Utah, and let's uh, let's see what they're gonna initiate with them. They try to take this high ground and uh, see if they can take it away from the University of Hawaii. The name of the game is going to be the EMP, potentially comboing it with the Annihilation as violence is on the menu for Dolphin if he is looking for some targets to hit, but the targets are all on the high ground as Akamai is there to make sure that they're taken down. The Dynamite is going to be there to finish the Medicus with Animal Luffy is taking down Dolphin. Press is going to do his best to try and get people back online, but it doesn't really matter when you're going to optimize there on the blue. He's taking down everyone. Team kill for the the side of the Rainbow Warriors, even though Akamai was sent to the grave to make it happen. Yeah, Southern Utah has to step on the gas as of one fight ago. This is a really rough composition that they're finding themselves stuck on. They're not able to cycle their ultimates out and get to a swap, and so they're just stuck in this situation where no one can contest the high ground besides maybe the Sombra, but it's just not going to be enough. If you look at the Rainbow Warriors, everyone, uh, both DPS, and the tank are going to be able to take high ground and it's just making it so difficult for Southern Utah to crack this point open as Jet ultimate finds Asian Boy. Ultimates have finally been used on both sides as Jet's taken down Asian Boy and the ball from Relodux as a lot more pressure is also going to be applied onto Relodux to try and get some more damage done. The River God is going to be there to, make, to clean up a lot of the extra damage from the Diva. And Dolphin is going to do his best to punch out that mech, rip out the Diva from there, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be, be enough to accomplish it. Dragon Blade and the Nano Boost is going to be used to extra security there as the, as the Mercy is going to try to fly over to the point, but doesn't look like it's going to. 93.75 meters for South Utah University. Uh, it's a bad sign when the Rainbow Warriors are using the Nano Blade on your spawn just for insurance to make sure that you're not touching the point. And I mean, Southern Utah, they, they played that first point really well, but they had to send it as soon as the gates opened into the streets phase. They had to use the Annihilation and the EMP as soon as possible. You don't want to get stuck on a composition like that when you're going into a, um, into a point that can be as one-sided uh, with a high ground advantage as the streets fades of Paraiso. Um, we've seen a lot of um, a lot of uh, attacks get stopped on the second phase of this map. So uh, it's it's not like Southern, Uni um, Southern Utah is out of it just yet, but they needed to get off of that composition as quickly as possible. But by the time they used both ultimates and swapped to the Winston Tracer, it was uh, it was too little too late. And, or, uh, what we have been seeing today in the Overwatch League is using that Ramatra with the Baptiste. Maybe swapping off the Mercy or maybe swapping off the Kiriko to try and add some little more, little more support for him and also get high ground, high ground at advantage also considering Baptiste has got those nice exo moves. But it looks like they are going to be taking just a different page out of the book as we are going to see Dolphin playing, playing a D.Va and Semetic is going to be playing on him. Same comp on the side, from the same side as the University of Hawaii is, the, as the Widowmaker is not going to be able to get the pick that it needs. But it looks like, looks like Akamai is going to be sticking on to the Widowmaker to just do a little bit more of the maybe the nice flex on the Relodux. We are going to be seeing a lot of pressure applied as Say is nearly taken down, but the support from River God and Banana Lupia is there to keep him alive. Jet is going to be applying a lot of pressure on the Dolphin as Dolphin is going to be taken halfway down. Relodux is sniped out of the air from the damage boost from the damage boost with Widowmaker, and Jet is there to take out and take out the Mercy as well. A lot of pressure is going to be trying to apply it onto Akamai on this Widowmaker. Agent Boy is trying to come up food with a nice pick, but I don't. I think it might be a little too late. Jet is there to take down some Medicus. Dolphin is there to take down Say, but Akamai is leading up Asian Boy. Dolphin is doing as hard as Dolphin in order to secure this point, and he's just floundering about a bit as Noah is going to be taking up the point. 
so far we've seen both supports from the side of Southern Utah uh, try to play this Mercy in combo uh, with the Ash. I mean, both of them, so much of Southern Utah, they're they're putting their, all of their stock into uh, Relidox and they're just not getting the return on the investment that they're hoping for. It, it's typically a good, uh, good combo, but the, uh, the Raver Warriors are, are just outgunning them in this DPS battle, and uh, thanks in no small part to Akamai as they clean up this first point. It is going to be a valiant effort from Southern Utah University. They are having some ultimates come online very soon, though, as we are seeing the pulse bomb and and the nice bomb. But the dynamite is gonna is not gonna be enough to take take thrown into the air, but Relodox is saying that doesn't matter as he can just go ahead and snipe him, snipe say out as well. Stalling the push for just a little bit as Akamai is also gonna have a lot of extended pressure put onto him. A lot of pressure applied from Dolphin onto the opposing Diva and to the opposing opposing Widowmaker as well. Jet is going to be taking this nice sleep as he is woken up as Akamai is looking to take out Asian Boy in the side street. Looking like a lot looking like a lot of different engagements are potentially operating at once. Asian Boy is there to take down Akamai. The Dragon Blade and Nano Boost Nano Blade is thrown onto the point just while leading out any potential work Asian Boy could have done. The bomb is thrown onto the point to try to install them out. But, unfortunately, there's just not enough presence on the cart in order to stall it out. University of Hawaii taking down, taking down Utah on Pirate so on map 2. Southern Utah had to act immediately, and if there's anything that is the theme of this entire match, it is that the University of Hawaii is giving them no chance to collect themselves. They are just pushing, the, they're pushing W, they are getting so much pressure off every single fight. And uh, they had managed to get one pick on to say at the end of that first point, uh, first point defense, and they needed to use that time to posture up and take a, a commanding presence on the high ground. Uh, it, they were, it looks like they were trying to maybe get one or two extra stagger picks. I know that they got in a, I, I believe, a sleep onto Jet um, off to the side, but they, they really should have just held their ground on high ground and tried to just make as solid of a defense as they can. But unfortunately, uh, the University of Hawaii giving them no breathing room on that second point of Paraiso. Just climbing all over those buildings, making sure that they had no presence, but also Southern Utah University needed to try and get up there themselves. I disagree a little bit with the pick on the Mercy and the Kiriko. Mercy and Kiriko just don't have that good of synergy together, especially when you need to be there contesting high grounds, when you need to be contesting a Genji, contesting an Ash. As Relodox was doing as great of a job as he could, Agent Boy was doing as much work as he can, but I think that it just needed a little bit more support from the tank side. The Ramatra pick maybe sticking on Ramatra just a little bit too long as well, and even if they were going to try to make the Ramatra work, like I said, Overwatch League teams today, what were they using with the Ramatra? They've been using Baptiste instead of Kiriko. So potentially maybe doing a swap over to a Baptiste would have tried, but it potentially helped them a little bit more also apply some extra pressure onto the Ash as well, but in the end, I think they had a game plan that they wanted to stick to the stick to their guns, but doesn't didn't look like it was really going going to be meant to be. But perhaps on New Queen Street we'll see something a little bit different. We have seen other teams uh, take the uh, take the momentum back on uh, push maps, especially um, a, a map type that uh, historically the. University of Hawaii hasn't done amazing on, uh, but I, I think with the Winston comp, which is what I, I think they're probably going to run out with, I think it's uh, something that they can manage, but if um, if Southern Utah is going to stop this snowball, they, they have to do it right here, right now. This is do or die for them. 2-0 uh, in the set right now for the Rainbow Warriors, and so Southern Utah uh, they're going to have to win this map if they want to stay in the series. Uh, we're taking down just a few seconds before we get a look at these compositions. I believe we're probably going to be seeing... Oh, oh they it... weren't kidding. Oh, my goodness. Oh, is that what, is that what we think it is? Is that what we think it is? 100, uh... 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, then a 10 kill you to run? Is that what we're seeing? Is that seriously what we are seeing? That's it. We we are seeing the swap from River God and Jet. Jet is going to be playing the Mercy, and River God is going to be playing Doomfist. 
This, I am all here for it, ladies and gentlemen. 100 push-ups, 100 squats, 100 sit and then a 10 kilometer run as Dolphin is going to be there to do his best to go ahead and stop the wall that is a river dodge. Oh, hold on. Someone, I'm, I'm going to need someone to clip this and send this to Jed. Uh, if they end up taking this map, uh, Jed is going to be playing support moving forward. I am going to be moving positions. Thank you very much. Rel Dog says take down Banana Lumpia at the start of this fight. And we're seeing a much more traditional uh, Reinhardt rush composition um, coming out of Southern Utah, which uh, perhaps uh, will help them against just this this complete degeneracy that I'm seeing right now from the Rainbow Warriors. You know what we call that in the in the industry? Or oh, we that? call that, that some PM. As we see Asian Boy doing his best to take down River God, stopping the flowing river that is the Dunkus. They say that Chivalry is dead, but River God is the one that's dead here. Asian Boy on the Soldier 76 pick is going to be doing a lot of extra damage onto the, onto the side of Southern University as Akamai is going to be pressured out on the Soldier and taken down by the Helix Rocket. And the point and the bot is going to be marching on as Safe is going to be thrown back into the back line as River God. The River God Doomfist is going to be taking his grand return. We are going to be seeing Jet trying to do a little bit more damage, boosting onto multiple targets on the side of on the University of Hawaii. Jet is looking to see if they can isolate one of the targets from South Utah University. Punch is going to be there to take down some people to a lot of lower health. The stun from the punch and the stun from from the charge are also going to be met. River God is there to take down some medic and Relinox is there to take down Say, but Say is taking down everyone left and right as Asian God, er, Asian boy, I'm sorry, Cox's attack Wiser to try and clean up some more, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. University of Hawaii is going to be doing a lot of cleanup as Compress is sent back into the spawn. Yeah, I, 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 I can't even tell you what I'm looking at right now. Every fight is just gonna be so scrappy. I mean, the Doomfist just makes running this composition absolute chaos. I mean, you're gonna have the Reinhardt rush, but they're gonna be coming from all different angles, and it's gonna be hard to focus on one target when you're just getting booped around by a Doomfist. Both uh, both tanks are gonna be on the ground right now as Akamai takes down Compress. Ooh, the nice, the nice slam on the multiple targets, but he is going to be pressured out. Dolphin is going to be taken out of the water and just potentially stalled here as he is doing his best to try and keep it down. But the Nano Boosted River God is there to take down Dolphin and Relinox. They are going to be sent back on to back down to Salt Lake City today as Say and River God are there to clean up the rest of South Utah University, sending them all, all the way crying back to their point as the bot marches on and the recent swap is made by Dolphin. And I, I, the Orisa comp is going to be a lot better uh, at taking out the Doomfist, of course, the Fortify. And the, the Spear is actually going to be able to, to cancel Power Stance, and so it can be uh, really good at uh, cutting down Doomfist's survivability. But Rivercon doesn't care. He's going even farther in with the Empowered Punch, taking down Asian Boy with him. And uh, right now, about half health, trying to get rid of the Sojourn, running very low, but buying so much time and enough time for the Rainbow Warriors to take first point. You can you can simply follow your program all you want, Dolphin, but sometimes you just cannot stop the machine because a flowing river is there. But he's going to do his hardest to try and stop it as Dolphin and the medic are going to be there to take down River God and say Asia Boy is going to be set into the back line to potentially snipe out some more targets, but the medic is there to make sure that he is cleaning up Akamai and setting the plot all the way back. But full response happens activated to the University of Hawaii. A lot of pressure is going to be applied to the support line as Jet and Banana Luffy are set into the back. River God is getting a nice Nice spear to the chest as a forward mons are once again denied by South Utah University as River God is set into a spear in the back line, 82% on on his terrace surf, and a lot of pressure is being applied onto River God, but River God also has Jet backing him up. With the two dynamic duos are swapping from goals today as Relinox is there to be taken on Akamai and Jet is going to be resurrecting Akamai. Relinox, however, is going to be pumping the only one to take Jet out of the sky, putting a lot of pressure onto Akamai to possibly say is there to take them down. Angel Boy is there to take down River God as the character is used to potentially buy himself for more time. But Akamai is still alive, who on HP as well. A lot of pressure is being applied by Akamai and some medic and suppressed, and they just are not able to shut him down as they come back online to take down Dolphin and send the bot back over into South Utah's territories. 
Kelvin missing some critical javelins there. I mean, the javelin in this matchup, uh, Arisa versus Doomfist, is just so important to, uh, or in making sure that the javelin cancels power stance, is going to do so much in making sure that the Doomfist can just run wild. And uh, right, right now, River God having a bit of a field day as this next meteor strike is coming up. And uh, yeah. so going to try to get control of the point again and uh, just make sure that the Rainbow Warriors don't have a chance to get the forward swans back. But Dolphin is left out in the cold right now. They're going to trade tanks and we're going to see if the Rainbow Warriors can get the first checkpoint and they will. And this lead is going to continue to grow for University of Hawaii. The lead grows and grows as the pressure from Akamai keeps going and going as the rest of South Utah is sent all the way back to spot and the spot mark is on. It looks like they just were not expecting this potential spot though from River God. The Doomfist has just been so, so strong on every single facet here. The Baptiste is doing as much of a job as he can in order to get down that that nice immortality field. But it's not much an immortality field can deal once you get punched out of the sky, but it's as Saiyan as Asian boy are gonna be taking down support with their respective Hulk mom. A lot of pressure Robert is a fight on the dolphin like a press is going to try and poke is going to save him in the end. And a lot of a lot of damage is going to be applied by onto Akamai, but Akamai has got the fist of justice to take down Asian boy as a lot of damage is being applied thanks to the thanks to the new limit of the limit for the map piece. And the nano boost on the Akamai is going to be there to try and seal the duel. Damage after damage after damage oh, is being applied you. onto everyone on the point. Asian boy swapping back to the Soldier 76 to rocket uh, Akamai back to spawn. And Relinox is there to take down the rest of University of Hawaii's Asian boy. Cleaning us up. Young punks, get off my lawn. We have no room here for your tomfoolery. This, this chicanery, they are not in the way <laughs> it. I mean, that's... I, look, it, it, it seems like, uh, or it, it may seem at a first glance, you know, that this is just blatant disrespect coming out of the, the University of Hawaii, but I, I really do believe that there is something of a metagame going on right here. I mean, by putting River God on, on main tank right now, uh, you're, you're really, I mean, uh, you're, you're really putting the burden of winning on um, Southern U Utah because, I mean, you're... Your main support is, is playing Doomfist right now, and when you're already down um, 0-2, it can be really hard to collect your or to, to get your composure back. And uh, speaking of trying to get the snowball oh, here, speaking of trying to get the composure back, Agamai just gonna be getting a silent 5k in the background as we are going over some of some of the things of our end. And it looks like and it looks like the bot is going to be marching back over to unlock forward spots for the University of Hawaii. The Swapper shot is going to be shot into the window as the deal is rocket is there to displace the Akamai and send him back just a little bit. Javelin is going to be thrown and not really connecting with enough with enough vital targets. The railgun shot is going to miss with Akamai as the, as the energy is going to be racking up to the Arisa primary fire for the fusion driver. To say though, it's going to be there taking down Asian boy as Akamai is there taking down Relodux. A lot of damage being applied left and right. That the medic is going to do his best to try to hop out of there. His press is going to try his best to keep them alive. Dolphin is taking out Jet. Akamai Banana Luffy, however, not interested in whatever Dolphin has to offer today. Dolphin is going to be taken out as well. The point is going to go marching on. One minute, 15 seconds left on the clock. And Southern Utah, they just look so demoralized right now. A minute left on the clock and uh, a full completion is on the table right now for the for the University of Hawaii. But one last attempt on this push right here is Southern Utah. They're going to be taking control back with the visor. Window and the tack visor are going to be used in conjunction, but it's not going to be enough. It's not a whole lot, but you can just back up. But Dolphin is going to make sure to say, just take down the mercy from the sky. And the, and the nice sound barrier is applied by compressed as the medic takes down River God in order to shut down the nano boost in Akamai. Ultimates being used left and right from the University of Hawaii, even though Sei is able to take out Asian Boy, they are going to be are going to be sent back just a little bit little bit farther. But there is 30 seconds left on the clock. This is all on the pump the hands of Relodox here with that overclock. Or we're trying to do enough damage to send the University of Hawaii back forwards if they want to stay alive. Akamai is there to try and take him down, but Relodox has a nice railgun shot to the face. 
Jet taken down as well, but the meteor strike being used on the Relmex to shut him down as the River God and say take down the map chase and the soldier. It is going to be a 3v4 right now as we are going to be seeing players coming back online. Terror Surge is online and River God is there to be pressured out a little bit more. They're hoping that they don't have to use, but in the end they are going to need to. So Fritz is there to take down Banana Luffy as Asia Boy takes down River God, so River God is there to take down Asia Boy in retaliation as well. Say is applying so much pressure as Jen is looking for the resurrection on the target, but it looks like Ace is going to try and keep the rest of the team alive. So many players on the side of South Vista are very low. A lot of damage is being thrown left and right as the Javelin of Forky and misses on the Akamai. Amount, enough of the Javelin's been ordered to try to counteract that nice Railgun shot. So much is being used on the side of South Utah University to try and keep them alive in this, in this point. And it looks like Dolphin is there, but... It's not enough if you guys walk away from the block as the University of Hawaii is there to take it out off of the scene on his and the BM take it from the river comment. Jet, if you are watching a clip of this in the future, remind me in scrims tomorrow to tell Santiago that you will be relieving him of his mercy duties. Thank you very much, and we will have him on main tank. Bit of a wild last game, but the University of Hawaii uh, bring it home three to zero uh, on New Queen Street. Um, yeah, that was a game. Uh, uh, one of the games of all time, time if I do say so myself. myself. The whole time, I think, uh, you know, I wasn't expecting to see a Mercy player playing uh, Doomfus, nor was I expecting to see a Doomfus player playing Mercy. But hey, what do I know? I mean, I'm, I'm obviously not paid the big bucks to be on the varsity squad for this. Uh, I'm just here to go ahead and com commentate it. And, you know, sometimes if it works, it works. Yes, and it work indeed. And <laughs> I, I'm honestly speechless. I mean, River God, I, I didn't even know that River had a Doom Fist, but. Regardless, uh, that that's the end of the um, series between Southern Utah and the University of Hawaii. We are going to be going to a quick break as we are setting up for an interview coming soon with one of the players from the Rainbow Warriors. Stick around. We will be right back.
All right, guys, we are here back, joined with an interview with Say. Say, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. So, first question that we have for you today, I think we want to get the the one that's right in everyone's mind out of the way. What was up with that spot with Jet and uh, and uh, River God on the group list? Uh, so me and River have been off rolling in, in comp recently, and um. You know, we don't want to give away too many strategies, so we're like, against teams that we don't deem as much of a threat compared to some of the higher-up teams in EGF, we pull out, um, you know, some some creative comps to uh, throw them off, and, you know, occasionally it actually works in our favor, especially because River specializes specifically in Doomfist when it comes to tanks, so, you know, he can play, he's a master's level tank, so he can play it at a decently high level. Alright, I guess that's all you really need at the end of the day, right? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Oh, sorry. Oh no, you're you're good. You're good. And uh, one question I had um, also: um, How did you guys? Um, how how was your guys' adjustments uh, from week to week? Uh, not only reincorporating Akamai back uh, into your team while he was uh, away for um, for a few matches, uh, but also uh, incorporating Jet into your main tank play. I know that his hero pool can sometimes be a little bit different from uh, Ethan's, you guys are running a lot of the Sigma, a lot of the Wrecking Ball, so how did you guys incorporate Jet into your team comps and your strategies? Uh, honestly, he did really well. Uh, I think something that our team tends to do a lot is uh, when we lose, they're, they're very like, oh, you know, what can we look at? And we try not to blame it on people that are filling or like, you know, like a, a hero pool difference because at the end of the day, we're really grateful for all our ringers that are able to show up and play for us. And Jet kind of just like slotted right in. You know, he he calmed well. He didn't he didn't go too too early, too late. He was very very good at listening. Um, but overall, I'd say there wasn't really an adjustment. I'd say the biggest adjustment, like you said, was Akmai coming back because um, I for a bit had to play the poke DPS, and we had you know John on on Tracer because. He's a lot better at playing that role than like someone like Akamai is, because Akamai needs a lot more work on his tracer. So, you know, our team kind of just adapts around what situation we're given. I think that actually segues like, pretty pretty great to so the next question. Uh, last week, you know, it was just a bit a bit of a tough loss against the Ohio based University, but uh, we did see you sticking onto a lot of the jump grab picks last week. Was that also something that had to do with it? Uh, Akamai being out of the line, uh, did that sway the decision a little bit in order to stick onto the jump grab, or was it just a team decision that you know you guys were labbing in labbing in rank or labbing in scrims? Was the jump grab pick pick just because of that? Just because uh, I feel like so when I when I pull out Junkrat, like I'll, I'll pull it out when Akamai is also in sometimes because uh, there are a lot of kill boxes I like to play that are not as conventional to, to normal stuff. So like on Circuit Royale, on first point, there's a, a little arch and a lot of teams like sitting on that arch and it's really easy to go up there and kill something on Junkrat and then just call for shield so the team you can back off easily. So it's a lot of um kind of throwing people off guard more than uh like a band-aid fix or like a because we had someone else in yeah and of course me and joao have been talking a great game about your junk rat in particular but uh, uh just a few parting thoughts from you as you guys go into uh into the playoffs for egf and uh, as the meta kind of shifts and as we settle into this new meta after the most recent patch, how comfortable are you guys going into uh, the playoffs with this new meta as you guys uh, get your, your full starting lineup back together? I feel like we're decently comfortable. Um, we don't... It's kind of hard because there isn't like a solid meta like double shield or goat that really dominates the game right now. So a lot of things are very viable like doom comps, you see a lot of Ramatra, Reinhardt's. Um, so I think having an open hero pool and you know practicing two set comps but being able to flex around what the enemy team is playing is going to be our biggest strength going into playoffs for EGF. One last question as we saw on new queen street i mean anything uh, anything is possible for you guys in composition so i have to ask justin are we ever going to see a return of the justin Doomfist so like, like we saw in overwatch know. one uh maybe one day you know i've been I, I just wanted to play dps this time around because i wanted to practice because i'm gonna go hit some ranked after this but maybe one day if we find a team that's like you know 
If River, if River's like he wants to just chill on support, if he wants to play DPS, then you know he could see a possible return of my Doomfist. I had to ask. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Say. That was a very wonderful match from you guys, and a nice conclusion to the EGF season as well. I believe you guys are also making it to playoffs too, right? Yeah, I think we're uh, we secured our spot, and yeah, thank you guys for broadcasting this. Thank you so much. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us today on the EGF broadcast. Lit.gif and Ender Restaurant here have been throwing it all the line for these last couple games. And also, once again, everyone give a big hand to say for doing an amazing performance on the on the match today, keeping up with everyone in the lobby. We'll go ahead and see you guys next time, potentially for the playoffs. Hope you guys have a good day. Yeah. <laughs>